the race baiting network on the other side. We are talking about cable news network, obviously. They are the race baiting network that, unlike Fox News, what CNN does... What CNN does is that they divide and conquer our population by race baiting. And the main thing to differentiate between the GOP being a so-called symbol of white nationalism and what's happening in the economy today is that what we are really experiencing in this country is seeing the rise of corporate fascism, the rise of corporation and state. And it's true that the Republican policies favor people with money who tend to be white people, but economic fascism itself, the merger of corporation and state, is colorblind. So here we have a panel, you know, bigots on the ballot, white nationalists, yada, yada, yada. But the truth is that the vast majority of Republicans are not even white nationalists, but they are corporatists. There's a big distinction. Fascism itself... No one knows what the future of transportation will look like. Robots. But no matter what, Enterprise can help. You can rent a car for a road trip. Look, kids, nature. Oh, fuck this corporate oh, wow. fucking out. You can rent a truck for a move. You can ass. buy a car. Fucking you need pushing this onto us. But anyways, you know, Trump's MAGA hat, they say, is a potent symbol of racism. That is true to older people who may be 60, 70 to 80 years old. Some individuals in the Trump clan do believe he's going to make America whiter. But the majority of them fall for the Koch brother billionaire economic propaganda that is regulation that is the problem. When in actuality, it is the pie being more tilted towards the top that is the reason why we are in this position today. The Republican Party and Fox News tell you that, oh, the Muslim and the immigrant is the problem. They do race bait in that regard. But what CNN is distracting you is they focus on race versus the economy. And that is why CNN supports the status quo. They want to push you away from the economy and focus on race. Focus on racism. They want to focus on Nazism versus fascism. And what this headline is all about is that Trump is a state of hate. It, it is not really a state of hate. It's that we are more of a polarized country because we are no longer tilted towards one demographic where um, the whites are going to be minority in America one day that the melting pot has happened. And this melting pot is the reason why America in my generation is going to be more united. But we are far from being a state of hate. A state of hate is only coming from a minority of white nationalists, and, and, and those are not the people that we should be fearing in this country. And CNN wants to focus on race and reality. Do you see race as a problem versus do you see the corporate hijacking of our economy as a problem? Again, distracting, distracting us with race. And then CNN has their Bernie Sanders hit pieces because they supported Hillary Clinton. They supported the right-wing centrists. Clinton ripped Sanders and lays some blame on him for the loss. But in this article, here's what was noted, what they said. It's going down here. I'll find the quote later, but CNN is demonizing Bernie Sanders airline in his campaign that they're focusing on certain individuals that have sexual harassment claims, but Bernie Sanders would have nothing to do with it. Bernie Sanders, not one of these rich billionaires that 
hire a prostitute in a beauty salon in Florida and, and whatnot, or bring their hookers into Mar-a-Lago, and Jerry Epstein and the billionaires are going to rape them? No, that's not what Bernie is, but CNN wants to demonize Bernie Sanders. And then they say, oh, that Bernie Sanders has a problem. He, when they asked him that he was aware of the sexual harassment claims, he was a little bit, bit busy running around the country trying, trying to make a case why he should be president of America. And they say, oh, that that's a bad answer, that Bernie's focused on his campaign. The right-wing media in CNN is trying to bring Bernie Sanders down. There won't be a case when Sanders runs for president this time. What are they talking about? That scrutiny is coming ways that the Sanders has not seen before just because they have this socialism scare in America. This is a hit piece on Bernie Sanders. They want to portray him as being a sexist old white guy. And and then again, again, CNN is is race baiting. They're dividing and conquering America with all their Ferguson news and all this. They said that the election was going to be about race instead of whether we have a future in America, whether we're going to have health care, whether we're going to keep Social Security. They're saying that the election was about race rather than the issue. Because open. the corporate media are oh, distracted from the issues deal. because People that's what they're doing. They're getting amazing deals. This is why CNN is bad. Fox News is worse because they combine the two, but nonetheless, CNN is bad. They were established on June the 1st. That can be written out as 6-1. What's interesting about the network being founded on June the 1st, 6-1, is that it is racial divide that equals 61, and that is what CNN orchestrates. CNN News equals 92. Race Bader equals 92. They want the liberals to focus on a race war instead of the economics and instead of income inequality because the corporations want to, dis to divide us with race and our differences. And the CNN News Network wants to cater this sort of benchmark, this, this, this sort of framework to liberals that America is going to race problem instead of an economic problem. Race pay equals 59 and 32. <coughs> Excuse me, it's liberal that equals 59 and 32. This is what CNN wants to do. It's CNN that equals 31. It's bias that equals 31. And it is corporate media news network that equals 310. We are describing the cable news network. Fox News Channel, cable news network in the synagogue of Satan that operates CNN. What does CNN say about the Federal Reserve? What do they say about the Federal Reserve? Do they make the Federal Reserve out to be a boogeyman? What does the CN what does CNN say about the libertarians? CNN holds these libertarian town halls because they are advancing the billionaires. They had Gary Johnson on the CNN because they want to spread the billionaire ideology of the, C of, of the Libertarian Party. And they're like, oh, we should care about the Libertarian Party because we need to advance the billionaire ideology of the, of the Libertarian Party, that is. CNN's a race baiting network. Distract America from the economy. If these Libertarians were for America in the first place, they wouldn't be hosting this libertarian town hall. They're spreading the billionaire coke propaganda on their network. Why are they doing this? Libertarians are shills for itself. It's, 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 it's Gary Johnson that said that Hillary's a great person and that Obama's a great person and all this. Race baiters and keeping the status quo and running hit pieces on Bernie Sanders is what CNN is all about. 
They don't want you to focus on the economy. Let's focus America on race and all the white nationalists and all this. We don't want to talk about the economy and talking about Medicare for all. Talk about single payer health system. Because CNN is owned by Time Warner. Time Warner Cable owns the network. And, and who owns the stocks? What are Time Warner Cable stocks? What stocks do they own? What is their stock portfolio? They partake in these mergers, you know, the telecom companies merging together. They want a monopoly over their marketplace, too. That is the CNN network in a nutshell. 